Alright guys, AshBFC here, and welcome back to Shenmue. So, our current task at the moment is learning about the Three Blades. But anyway, before we um, set off... Just make a, a quick call to Nozomi. Nozomi. Oh, Ryo. What's up? Got a minute? Sure. Your parents? Yeah, they're in Vancouver. Don't you miss them? I did at first, but I'm living with my grandmother. I have friends now, and... And? Well, I like it here. Oh. Oh, Ryo. What did you call to talk about? Um, no reason. Later. Okay. See ya. Okay. It's just a cockroach. Oh, that damn cockroach again. Nope, I'm sure there was some, um... Was it fish or something lying around? I can't remember. Oh, that doesn't matter. You can uh, pick, up, pick something up for it later. I don't think I've got anything, have I? Uh nope. All right. Well, anyway, let's uh, let's head on out. All right now, before we head uh, back down to Dubuite, we actually go to the uh, dojo. We'll get a little scene. Practicing the move name Pitblow. Uh, for my first three years here, Sensei had me practice only the basics. One must know the fundamentals to reveal the essence. As my father used to say. Yes, but... But Sensei is no longer here to teach me. He's gone. And I still have so many bad habits. Say, Ryo-san! Would you mind showing me the right way to do it? Sure, why not? Okay, I'll go first. Take a look at my form and let me know what's wrong. As I take one step forward, I tense my arm, then strike. Out! Oh. Fuxa. Uh, I'm okay. Your real son, can you show me how to do it right? Sure, but I'm not as good as father was. That looks good. The next part's important. Shift in one continuous motion. As you step forward, strike. But I'm not as good as father was. Okay, so to do this, you'd press forward and punch at the same time. So on Xbox controller, that's obviously forward and X, PlayStation, forward and triangle. That was great! Your technique is so much better than mine. Completely different from mine. 
My father and I trained for a long time. Sensei always told me that this was the most important basic technique. So, would you like to practice some more? Sure, this is a good time to practice. Okay, let's keep going. So I meant square there, not triangle. So, would you like to practice some more? No, that's enough. Really? Well, if you ever feel like sparring, just ask. I'll be here. Thanks, Fukusan. So after that scene, um, you'll now be able to have a, a little sparring session with uh, Fukusan uh, whenever you want. So it's, it's a good way to train up your moves, uh, particularly your, your throw moves. So uh, you could have actually initiated this earlier on, but I'm just doing it now. And I'm just going to actually quickly head back into the dojo. I'll do this before I forget. So we look uh, back up at this again, which. Um, I looked at previously to trigger the uh, flashback scene. Fuxan. What? Do you know anything about the Three Blades? No, I've never heard of it. What is it? I don't know much either, but it has something to do with tailors, cooks, and barbers. Huh? Is that right? I'm searching for Chinese members of the Three Blades. Ring any bells? No, not really. I see. Why don't you go check at Ajiichi first? You're right. Thanks, Fukusan. I should. I can't reach it. There we go. You want to root see? Can't reach it. Once you've done that, if you go over to this little stool over here. What's this? What's this doing here? All right, so we got there is a mysterious scroll. Yeah, it's in Chinese, and well, there's nothing you can do with it, at least for now. But anyway, I'll go ahead and grab that. So again, something very, very easy to miss right there. In fact, obviously, when I, you know, first played this, you know, back in '99, um, you know, my first playthrough, I missed so much stuff. There's so much I didn't know, and then like each time I, you know, went back to it over the years, you know, I learned new stuff. Let's rain him. No, uh, I'll have to, um, to uh, pick up some food for the kitten on my way back. Let's quickly just try my look on the uh, drink machine. Oh, oh, oh. 
I didn't win. What about the capsule machine? Toy capsules. A hundred yen each, huh? Maybe just one. Huh? I got a dice. Dice number two. I should try again. Okay, we'll have one more crack. Let's have a Robotnik. We got another Tails. What? This again? Is that three Tails I've had? Oh dear. Maybe I should get another. Maybe not. Changed my mind. Yeah for the best. Also, um, to show you this uh, this park over here. Maybe I can practice here. I should it's work on my you moves. You can uh, practice. You'll know where to train up your moves. So I'd let you know about that. All right. Anyway, let's get down to Dabuita. So, there's a little um, scene and event we can trigger uh, right now. This is missable. It's kind of unlikely we'll miss it, but I did miss it my first playthrough. But between um, 11 o'clock and 3 o'clock, uh, you can trigger this. We just need to head this way past uh, the convenience store. to Enoki-san! Well, maybe I'll just beat an apology out of you. I don't have time for this. Get lost. That's it, your history! Yeah! That's it! Damn, you're pretty tough! Ugh. I don't have time to play your little games. Yes, uh, I'm sorry! You don't mess with me again, got it? Alright, alright! Uh. Hey, are you okay? Can you get up? Uh. Uh. Alright, so there you go, that's a little uh, scene right there. Now, here's what can happen if you fail the quick time. Do this. Come on, loser. Yeah! You think you got me, huh? Do this. Yeah! That's it! Come on, loser! Take this! <laughs> he wasn't so tough! <sighs> I don't care if you know jujitsu or whatever! I'm not gonna move or whip like you! From now on, when you see Enoki san coming, you better get out of his way! So, yeah, I told you I was gonna be thorough in this walkthrough. Anyway, so three blades. 
I'll tell you what I'm going to do right now. Um, there is another event that can occur um, from 3 p.m. until 7 p.m. So I'm just going to do a little bit of um, training in the uh, the car park down at the bottom, and then you know I'll cut to 3 p.m. So yeah, see you in a moment. Yeah, a winning can. Oh, well there you go. That's a winning can for you right there. Alright, so uh, now that it is 3pm, uh, if we head to the park... Oh, Ryo. What are you doing here? I was having a drink with your father. With my father? Well, you may not believe it, but I've been training in Kobujutsu for many years. I used to spar with your father. After our workouts, we always drank sake together. By the way, have you ever learned this move? Huh? Watch. Magashi-san, what move is that? It's an ancient technique that I once taught to Iwao. To my father. Martial arts masters often exchange techniques. Just as your father and I did. We were very good friends. It must be fate that you came here. I want to teach you this move. How about it? Please teach me. Well, there's no time like the present. I'll teach you right here, right now. It's a move from Kobujutsu called Double Blow. I'll show you the footwork first, so watch carefully. Take one step forward and build up your energy, then strike with your arms and legs at the same time. This is the double blow. Now you try. First, quickly shift your weight forward. Good. That's the way. Then as you move forward, you extend your arms and legs as you strike with your palms. Now, try it again. Okay, so you want to move forward at the same time, punch and kick. So, X and A. Well, excellent. You have managed to learn it rather quickly, I see. Thank you. The double blow was developed during the 16th century. It's a very powerful technique, and if done properly, the blow can be felt even through armor. Do you want to practice some more to make sure you've mastered it? Yes. Please. Good. Training always pays off. Let us continue. Well, 
If you're not happy with your form, why not practice a bit more? No, I think I've got it. I see. Well, I'm not getting any younger. I'm glad that I could teach you while I'm still able. You're still very young. Work hard, and you will surpass even your father. Yes. Thank you very much. Someday, I'd like us to drink sake together. Me too. I look forward to that day. Alright, another well, double blow. So again, that is another event, another move that is missable. By, you know, not going there after a certain amount of time, or you can actually just decline him if you want. I don't know why you do that, but it's an option. Alright, anyway. So I'm just going to uh, look into this uh, store right here. Which is the antique shop. And in here, they actually uh, sell some uh, move scrolls. I'm going to buy uh, these two right now. Which is a... Uh, Mud Spider and uh, Crawl Cycle, and they're a thousand yen each, ain't exactly cheap, but they're pretty useful and I would recommend them. Can I have this? Yes, thank you very much. This is the Scroll of Secrets. My grandfather said read this in practice and you'll become stronger. The other one, Mud Spider. Can I have this? Yes, thank you very much. That's a very difficult scroll, but to those who practice martial arts, apparently it's quite valuable. All right, uh. I'll be sure to uh, buy the others at another time. Looks like a leg move. See again, you want to make sure that you uh, select them in the scrolls Looks menu. Looks like a leg move. There we go. Crawl Cyclone right there, and that's the Mud Spider. I think I'll just quickly nip in the uh, Kavine store, pick up some food for the kitten. Shall we get? We'll get some fish. Yo, may I help you? This. Come again, yo. So, yeah, I won't get into the uh, raffle because it's not an item with a picture of the girl on it. So it's uh, 5 p.m. now. I'm just going to um, just double check something. Going to head back into uh, that same bar I went into last time. Um, about the ah, about the three blades, right? Of all the three blade members in Dobuita, Liu-san knows Chinese people the best. 
New son at Lou Barber and Hair Salon used to have a tailor shop. He was our mentor. His shop's been closed for a while, but I hear he's ready to open back up soon. I see. Well, thank you. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm really too sleepy now. I'm really tired. I see. Okay. I think he'll have a similar. I don't want to talk to him. Hi, Rio. Do you know where you Barber and Hair Salon is? Look, this is a drinking establishment for a haircut. You'll have to try either the entrance or the back street of Dobu Ita. All right. I believe she pronounced that. Dobu Ita. All right, so they point me in the direction of uh, the barber and hair salon. I could have got that off them last time. I did for some reason. But there's a couple of people you can go to as well, who will also basically point you in the uh, direction of the barber shop. And we'll find that very barber shop right. Over here, there it is. It's open till seven. You, son. Hello. Welcome. How would you like your hair today? I'm not here for a haircut. I came to ask about people from China. And you are. I'm Yo Hazuki. Of the Hazuki Dojo in Yamanose. Hazuki san? Darling, you saw it in the paper on that snowy day. Ah, I understand you've gone through a lot. I'm looking for a Chinese man who goes by the name Lan Di. Tao san and the others of the Three Blades said that perhaps you'd know. So, Tao san referred you to us. Well, I'm a second-generation Chinese, so I don't think I can be of much help. Maybe they meant your father. Oh, I see. He is. My father's 80 years old. He owned a shop in Yokohama from before the war. Maybe he knows. He's been in hospital for the flu and was just discharged yesterday. He's been through a lot, so we've kept it closed for a while. Is he all right? Oh, he's much better now. Perhaps he's exercising in Suzume Park. Suzume Park? He walks once around Obuita and eats at the soba restaurant every day. Thank you very much. I'll try there. All right. Let's go see if he's at the park. I'm pretty sure this um, barber shop is closed up until this point of the game as it's uh, required for a story progression. Nozomi. Ryo, I do understand how you feel. But don't overdo it. Yeah, I know. See that? Shutting up a uh, shop. <laughs> oh, I love it. This must be him right um, here. Are you Dio son? Yes, I am. And you? My name is Dio Hazuki from the Hazuki Dojo in Yamanose. Ah, I've heard what happened to your father. My condolences. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a Chinese man who calls himself Lan Di. Three Blades members like Aji Ichi's Tao son suggested that perhaps you might know. Ah. You know of the Three Blades. 
I know it refers to the three professions, barbers, cooks, and tailors. That it does. Did you know that the proud elite of these professions were also imperial bodyguards, protecting emperors from assassinations with their razors, knives, and scissors? About Landy. I gather by his name that he is most likely a member of a Chinese black market cartel. Or perhaps even the Chinese Mafia. Would they be here in Yokosuka? They have developed a base in the harbor to bypass customs and expand their activities. Try asking some of the sailors in the vicinity. They're bound to know more. Sailors? I'll look for some. Thank you very much. Good luck. Interesting. So, Landy could be part of, you know, Black Market Organization or Chinese Mafia. But anyway, it seems, um, Sailors is who we need to be asking about that. So I feel like, uh, we're starting to make a little bit of progress. But, right, where do we find Sailors, though? Now, Yuki. Yo! Got a sec? Yeah, I'm looking for Sailors. Any idea where they might hang out? No, man. No idea. I see. What's up, man? I was just thinking. I really want to get some new tires as well. I see. Come see my motorcycle sometime. It's my pride and joy, you know. Sure, I'll do that. Right. See you, man. Sure thing. Yuriko-san. Oh, Ryo. There's something I want to ask you. Sorry, I have something to do now. Next time, okay? Sure, no problem. See you later. Mm, okay. Well, there must be someone who knows something. About this guy here. Nemoto-san. Ah, hello, Ryo. Do you ever see sailors around here? I often see them after it gets dark. They come in here sometimes. Big, tough-looking guys. They come to buy flowers? Yeah, with stupid-sounding messages like love always on the cards. Presents for the ladies, eh? But then where do they go? Well, I'd figure they go to the bars to pick up women. Ah, okay. Sailors hang out at bars at night. Makes sense. Tom. Hi, Rio. Do you know any place where sailors hang out? Sailors? Yeah, I do. They hang out at bars. They always start street fights when they're drunk, you know. I can't stand them, man. Which bar do they hang out at? I don't know. I'm broke. I can't afford to drink. Oh, well. Later. <laughs> oh no, he's there again. <laughs> Look, he's letting that guy out. Nozomi. Ryo. You got a minute? Nozomi, do you know of any shops where sailors might go? Well, they sure don't come in here. I'd guess that they probably hang out in bars. Yeah, probably. Hey, sorry to bother you at work. It's no bother. But Ryo... Hmm? Don't do anything crazy. I won't. See ya. Alright, well, um... Let's start checking out some bars. first. Excuse me. 
Oh, hey, Rio. I can't serve you alcohol, but uh, have a seat. Thanks. How about a cola? Sure. So, what's up? Saijo-san, do you know any places where sailors like to hang out around here? You say sailors, but you don't mean just any sailor, do you? Right. Try the MJQ Jazz Bar or Heartbeats Bar. Is that where they go? But you best be careful. I hear they run with a dangerous crowd. Any guys with tattoos on their arms? You'll probably find guys like that there. That's all right. Hmm, okay. So the MJQ Jazz Ball and the Hall Beats Hi, Ball. Hi, Akemi san I think she likes Rio. Alright, let's check out the uh, Jazz Ball, which is just next door. Um, yeah, what? Are those people sailors? Who knows? Why don't you ask them yourself? But don't start anything. Got it? Okay. Fair enough. Got a minute? Hey, the kid's saying something. Are you guys sailors? Hmm, could be. Hey, kid. How about a game? Game? You sink the ball in one shot, you win. And I'll answer your questions. But you miss, I win. Buy me a bourbon. Okay? Okay, let's do it. You're on. Just have to make the shot, right? Try your luck. Alright, the trick to making the shot is if you just tap to the right 17 times. It should go in. Unbelievable, man! The deal was I make the shot and you tell me what I want to know. Are you guys sailors? Nah. We're base workers. Them broke sailors drink at the Heartbeats Bar. Heartbeats Bar. Hey, let's bet again. Come on. Okay, and here's what happens if you miss the shot. Missed. <laughs> Thanks, kid. Set him up. So yeah, you won't get any information, and you'll have to buy him a drink and lose your money. So, oh god, another drunk guy. What's going on around here? Well, anyway, we got the information at Heartbeats. The thing is, though, um. Heartbeats. It's not actually marked on the map. And I remember the first time I played, I was str uh, struggling to find it because no one really points you, you know, directly where it is. But it is down here. Get out of my way. What? Go home! Oh, hey, 
you! Damn drunks. Okay. In we go. This could mean trouble. Welcome. Here you go! Milk's perfect for a schoolboy, I'd say! <laughs> Are those guys sailors? Maybe. I'm looking for sailors who work with Chinese ships. What are you, some kind of TV detective or something? Back off! You little punk! You looking for some of this? You stupid! That's enough. You put on quite a show, boy. I'm looking for info about a Chinese cartel. I'll tell you. What? In return, you don't show your face here again. Okay. Look for a guy named Charlie. Charlie? He deals in smuggled goods. He's well known in the underworld. He should know about the Chinese cartel. Where is he? He loves his hog. Try asking at the motorcycle shop nearby. What's he look like? He always wears shades and a black leather jacket. And he's got a tattoo on his arm. A tattoo on his arm? Enough talk. Now get out. Well, I'll tell you what. We all can hold his own, can't you? Now we got the information we needed. We're getting somewhere. So, this Charlie fella. Let's see what we need to find next. And also, here are some of the outcomes to failing the quick time events. Go home! Ah, oh, does it hurt? Oh, hey, you! You want a piece of me? Hey, hey, hey! Take that! You looking for some of this? You stupid! Bye bye, boy! You stupid! And also, by the way, the past three quick time events I've just shown you, if you fail them, they'll just keep repeating until you basically do them. So, yeah. Well, anyway. It's getting late now, I don't want uh, any sign getting worried, so I think it's time to head home and call it a night. Alright, time to get some sleep. Alright, so that's going to do it for this part, been uh, quite a long one, but as always guys, thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.